Take a look at this false nose. I told you, I have never seen it before. Yeah, I did show him the face before. Take a look at this false nose. I told you, I have never seen it before. This is what I used to open the manhole cover. Just as I thought. You were up to no good down those sewers, weren't you? One slip and I would have been up to my neck. What? Are you sure you've never seen this material before? I told you, I have nothing to say. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh! Uh, Augustin Rousseau? What does that say? Uh, Arminoid Division. A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't oh! Apologize. You know. Thank you, Luke. I think there was something different about you. It is your posture, your, your poise. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Let's start over from the beginning and tell it just like it was. Nice! Yay! I did a thing! Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? I'm kind of mad at he that he was know, like this. But the killer thought totally ignoring me, and life. now uh, I'm Rousseau, so he tells me everything. Okay. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui! Who else would I find to cut my toenest? Oh. So she does that. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm gonna find the guy responsible. I'll find him. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Bravo! Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face suddenly next to mine. His grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Right. Oh, no. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Okay. Take a look at this false nose. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless he wanted you to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you off the scent. Okay. Did I show you my tool? Ah, uh, oui, monsieur. Just like mine. Except <laughs> that it is much smaller. He what? No, you didn't go there, game. I hope you did. What? Do you have a man a thing to get the manhole covers up at home? Is this a thing in France? Why? Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that, that pattern anywhere. Can I get the jacket? Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. Where did you send the jacket? 
I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as... Oh, really? Really, he did. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. <laughs> Uh, anything else? What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todd Rick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that is a little frequent number that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. <laughs> okay, can we show you this tissue? Can I show you this tissue? Oh, we miss you. Okay. Uh, now we got some clues. We have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, Inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. I hope so, too. There's a small access door set into the wooden gate. Yeah, that's the wrong button I clicked. Let's go, um... Oh, it's getting cold at home. Ooh. And I'm in a jumper, too, and I'm cold. That's not good. Let's try to call that uh, number. Maybe first, let's call Nicole. Because we got some more clues. Bonjour, Kula. It's me again, George Stobart. Hi, George. Any news? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Look, why don't you come here to my apartment? There we Fine. go. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come right over. We got the address! Nice. Okay, now let's call the dot rig. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Ah, oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. <laughs> there are lives Beautiful! That could, Todrick, lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Okay, let's talk about the clown. What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're saying that to make me think you don't know what I mean, but... Oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Did you know that one of your customers was a part-time clown? If a guy feels happy with a funny nose and custard down his pants, what's the problem? 
Do you know a guy called Plantar? No, I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. I expect Plantar's a family man, don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. He can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy. Huh? The faithful puppy dog waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? I don't know, Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. None of this has anything to do with me. That, okay, Poppy. I think it does. I nothing, Todrick. And I like it. Now let's go meet Nicole. Then. See where this will lead us. Do you